click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see one of the application of WAPAMP that is nothing but subtractor. So let's begin with the topic. We know that OPAM can be used for a variety of applications. So one of the application of OPAM is nothing but subtractor. Subtractor is nothing but the advanced or we can say the modified version of difference amplifier. So let's see how to obtain the output equation and what are the changes that can be done in case of difference amplifier so that we can get the circuit of subtractor. So first let's see the circuit diagram. So in the circuit diagram we are having two input V1 and V2 applied to the non-inverting and inverting terminal of the op amp. All the resistors having the same value that means value of R. In case of difference amplifier we have different values of RF and R1. That's why the gain of difference amplifier is depend upon the value of RF and R1. If we change the value of RF and R1 gain of the circuit is get changed and therefore there will be a corresponding change in the output voltage. In case of difference amplifier the output equation can be given as VO is equals to RF by R1 into V1 minus V2. This equation is obtained by using a superposition theorem applied at both the input terminals of the op amp. When we apply superposition theorem to input V1, that means we consider input V2 and we suppress V1 to ground. So in that case, the circuit becomes similar to inverting amplifier and we'll get output voltage VO as minus RF by R1 into VO2. Here RF by R1 is considered as gain of the inverting amplifier and negative sign indicates that the input is applied to the inverting terminal of the op-amp. In second condition, when we connect V2 to ground and we consider V1 as input, then in that case the circuit is similar to non-inverting amplifier and we'll get output equation as VO1 is equal to RF by R1 into V1. So when we combine the two equations, we'll get final equation as VO is equal to RF by R1 V1 minus V2 where Rf by R1 is called as gain of difference amplifier. But if we look at the circuit of subtractor, then in this case, the value of all the resistors used in the circuit is same. That means Rf is equal to R1 is equal to R. So now if we substitute the value of Rf and R1, we will get output equation as VO is equal to R by R, V1 minus V2. Therefore, VO is equal to V1 minus V2. So this is how we can obtain output equation which is nothing but the difference between the signal applied to inverting and non-inverting terminal of the op amp. When value of resistors used in the circuits are same then the circuit of difference amplifier is get converted into a circuit called as subtractor and we will get output equation as equal to the number of input signal applied to the input terminals of the op-amp. So this is what about the subtractor circuit which is modified or advanced version of the circuit called as difference amplifier in which value of all the resistors remains same and VO is equals to V1 minus V2. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.